Hello friends, today in this video we are going to show you the membrane filtration technique that means how the membrane filtration works. Okay, and this is the whole 6 manifold membrane filtration unit by which we can filter 6 different samples at a time, 6 different liquid samples at a time. Okay, and this membrane filtration technique is widely used for identification of microorganisms from liquid samples like water. Okay, so in this video at first we will give you some brief idea about the membrane filtration technique then we will show you how it can be performed. So now let's see these are the filter bases, these are the filter bases on which on which the we have to add or we have to place our membrane filter. Okay, and after that we have to put the sample holder onto it like this. like this so these are the sample holders so at first we have to put our membrane filter onto the uh, filter base and then we have to add the sample holder onto it and then we have to add the sample liquid sample onto the sample holder okay so then we have to start the uh, we have to switch on the vacuum pump and vacuum pump will create a suction and by which the liquid sample will be filtered through the membrane filter and when the filtration is done then we have to open the or uh, remove the uh, sample holder and we have to take the membrane filter and this in this membrane filter all the microorganisms which are present in our liquid sample they are trapped in that membrane filter so we have to take that membrane filter and we have to add it into the specified agar media or specified broth media so after incubation if any growth or any colonies are present in our specified membrane filter then we can say that in that sample the micro that microorganisms are present so in this way we can identify specific microorganisms which are present in our specified liquid uh, samples or not okay so this in this way the uh, in this way we can identify the microorganisms through this membrane filtration technique okay now we will see how this membrane filtration technique can be performed okay so let's see this is the six manifold membrane filtration unit and these are the sterile cups which are sterilized by autoclave these are the sample holders which are sterilized by autoclave and this pipe through this pipe the filtrated sam liquid sample is collected into the collection bucket here and here we can see two pipes are there this is the one pipe this is another pipe so in this pipe through this pipe the filtrated water the filtrated water collected into the bucket and through this pipe the suction is created by the vacuum pump okay so now let's see this is the vacuum pump through which the suction is created so now at first we have to add the filter um, uh, add, add the membrane filter base fil uh, sterilized base onto the sample holder or the base holder so at first we have to and these are the sterilized base because we have to sterilize it by the by autoclaving so we have to add this sterilized base onto the base holder and then we have to and after that we have to add the sample holder onto it but don't we have to lock it because after we add the membrane filter then we have to lock the sample holder so now we are adding the sample holder onto it just put on it just put on it these are the sample holders So now we have to add the membrane filter. So these are the membrane filter which is cellulose nitrate membrane whose pore size is 0.45 because most of the microorganisms which are present in uh, liquid or water water samples 
their pore size is more than 0.45 that's why we are using 0.45 micron but in for other micro to trap other microorganisms we can also use 0.22 micron okay so but mostly used that is the 0.45 micron pore size of membrane filter for water sample or liquid sample so now we have added the membrane filter and locked the sample holder now we have to add the sample onto the sample holder and here three labels are there three labels are marked on the sample holder that is one is 100 marked one is 200 mark and another one is 250 mark so if we need we need to um, filter 100 ml of water then we have to add the water at the marked on 100 okay and if we want to filter 250 ml of sample then we have to add in this marked where the 250 ml is marked on the sample holder so as per our requirement we have to add that amount of water onto the sample water sample holder okay so now we can we will add another sample onto another different sample holder so all the so all different six different samples are added to sample holders different sample holders okay now we have to switch on the vacuum pump so suction will be created and all the samples will be filtered all the liquid sample will be filtered through the membrane filter so here we can see the level of water and through this pipe through this pipe the filtrated water is collected into this sample collection bucket okay so here you can see the filtration is going on and after all the all the uh, sample holder is filtered now we have to switch off the vacuum pump and here and here we have to transfer this membrane filter into the agar plate and here we have to remember one thing that the orientation of the membrane filter should be upside upper side of the membrane filter should be faced on the upper side of the agar media because that means we don't need to invert the membrane filter the orientation of the orientation here should be present in the agar plate at that orientation only the same orientation should be present we have to uh, transfer the membrane filter in same orientation to the agar plate because the membrane uh, because the microorganisms which are trapped in the in this membrane filter they will take the nutrients from the lower side of the agar plate and we will they will grow on the upper side of the membrane filter so that we can count all the colonies which will be present on the membrane filter but if we uh, revert the orientation or invert the orientation of the membrane filter then the microorganisms will grow inside the membrane filter and in the interface of the agar and uh, membrane filter so we cannot count any colonies or any microorganisms which are grown on the membrane filter so to count or to see all the microorganisms which are uh, present which are growing on the membrane filter that's why we have to add the membrane filter in same orientation into the agar plate like this okay so thank you for watching this